everybody, Jovi here, coming to you with uh, something short and sweet on false prophets. Um, I'm seeing a lot of these exposing videos and, you know, who's false and who's not. And uh, it's pretty interesting to me how quickly this phrase false prophet is thrown out. And um, the term false prophet does not apply to a preacher who has 30 seconds of incorrect doctrine. If you are going through a preacher's notes per se, or his sermons or her sermons, and you are looking for certain things that they say that don't line up correctly, uh, this doesn't expose them as a false prophet. It exposes you as a skeptic who has doubt. Um, not every person has everything correct. Uh, this means that they need a little bit of training in that area. There are people who are very adept at expounding upon the Word of God, but might not know about healing per se. They might not know about discerning of spirits. This does not make this person a false prophet because if they spoke about discerning of spirits, they don't do it as well as you would. That's, that's not a false prophet. A false prophet is not someone who uh, has a church and runs it differently than you would. These terms are not what Jesus defined as a false prophet or a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? A wolf in sheep's clothing is not even a part of the flock. These are people who are disguising themselves as Christian but are not actually even Christian. So if the person is a Christian, they're not a false prophet. Well, then why would they say something wrong? They said something wrong because they haven't learned that part yet. Just like you haven't learned everything yet. Just like Yofi has not learned everything yet. There are going to be some things that I say that next year I might not even say because I've learned, oh, look at what the word says about this. That does not make me a false prophet. If somebody speaks a word and then, well, what if it doesn't happen exactly the way that they said? Okay, they're not a fortune teller. That's not what prophecy is. Prophecy is not telling the future. That's actually called a word of wisdom. We like to call it prophecy when it's not. So that even goes to show you that even we get things wrong sometimes. And that's okay because it's not how you start, it's how you finish. If you finish well, then you know that you're okay. If we start off and we say something incorrect, please, Christians, stop going around trying to expose these ministries and expose this person and expose that person. The best way to teach somebody what a counterfeit dollar is is to give them the real dollar and to teach them about the real dollar. Therefore, when they see something that's off, they're going to know this is not a real dollar. That's why Jesus did what he did. Jesus came to show us an example to follow. By doing that, if we see something that is not like Jesus, then we can say this is off because Jesus gave us the real way. So all this stuff about false ministry and, and false prophet, and I see videos where people are dedicated to scrutinizing pastors and preachers sermons about how wrong they are and, and how wrong this is. And look at what they said over here. They may have said something wrong, but in the hour long sermon that they preached, if they said two things wrong, why don't you pray for that brother? Why don't you pray for that sister? Why don't you, how about this, go up to them and talk to them and say, hey, you said this, but the word of God says this. Can you tell me what you really meant by that? Because maybe they just explained it wrong, right? There are a lot of things going on. And if Christians are fighting with each other about foolishness and then using terms like false prophet, which basically means that anything that comes out of their mouth is going to be for selfish gain, to try and gain money, to try and, and lead you astray. If you use terms like that, you better be right, because that is a very harsh judgment. Okay, so... I said it was going to be short. It's five minutes. 
I hope that this encouraged you. Let's watch our words and let's pray for each other. Let's go up to each other and let's have actual honest discussion. Even if we disagree about a certain point, at least we can talk with each other civilly instead of these videos and these, you know, people are sending these types of things out. It is not kosher. It is not good to criticize and scrutinize a whole Christian's reputation by using words like false prophet. Okay. All right. Um, be blessed, you guys. Once again, if you need prayer, I'm here. Uh, message me. We will pray. We will get you healed. We will get you delivered. And we will get you out there working for the kingdom. In Jesus' name. Peace, guys.